Calculating molarity can be super simple if you just imagine a beaker. I'll show you what I mean. So suppose I have a 0.2 molar solution of potassium chloride. Well, first thing I'm going to do is draw my beaker, fill it with water, and then I'm going to take one molecule of potassium chloride and dissolve it in the water to release one potassium ion and one chloride ion. So if I were asked for the molarity of potassium ion in solution, also known as the concentration of potassium ion in solution, well, I have one potassium ion times 0.2 molar, which is 0.2 molar potassium ion concentration in solution. If I were asked for the concentration of chloride ion in solution, well, same thing. I have one chloride ion times 0.2 molar, which is 0.2 molar chloride ion concentration in solution. Well, how does this work? Well, for every one potassium chloride molecule that we dissolve in water, it will release one potassium ion and one chloride ion, which is a one to one to one ratio, which is a one to one to one molar concentration ratio. That's it. Simple as that. So now suppose I have a one molar solution of calcium hydroxide. Well, same thing. I'm going to draw my beaker, add some water, and I am going to take one molecule of calcium hydroxide and dissolve it in the water to release one calcium ion and two hydroxide ions. So now, if I were asked for the concentration of calcium ion in solution, well, there's one calcium ion times one molar solution, which is one molar calcium ion concentration in solution. If I ask for the hydroxide ion concentration, well, I have two hydroxide ions times one molar solution, which is two molar concentration of hydroxide ion in solution. Well, how does this one work? Well, for every one calcium hydroxide molecule, you will release one calcium ion and two hydroxide ions, which is a one to one to two ratio, which is a one to one to two molar concentration ratio. Simple as that. So now suppose I have a 1.2 molar solution of magnesium phosphate. Well, same thing as before. I'm going to draw a little bit fatter of a beaker this time because I feel like there's going to be more ions dissolving in solution. So then I'm going to take one molecule of magnesium phosphate and dissolve it in the water. I will get three magnesium ions and two phosphate ions. So now, if I were asked for the concentration of magnesium ion in solution, well, just like before, I have one, two, three magnesium ions times 1.2, which is 3.6 molar concentration of magnesium ion in solution. If I were asked for the phosphate ion concentration in solution, I have one, two phosphate ions times 1.2, which is 2.4 molar concentration of phosphate ion in solution. Let's see how this one works. For every one magnesium phosphate molecule, we will release three magnesium ions and two phosphate ions. That's a one to three to two ratio which is a one to three to two molar concentration ratio. That's all it is. No matter how complex the compound, just dissolve it in water and you should easily be able to determine ion concentration in solution. Simple as that. Simple as that.